Hello, greetings. All right. Um, let's see, about half of you may have been on the Telco Music Group, <clears throat> uh, which just ended. This meeting, CNF Working Group, is being recorded. It's uh, be published to YouTube. We'll get started in about three minutes at five after. You can add your name and any agenda items to the um, meeting notes. Which I've posted in the Zoom chat. Um, all right. If you have any agenda items, um, you can drop them in Zoom chat if you're not able to read the access to Google Docs, which I know doesn't work for some people's work firewalls. All right, let's get started. Let's see, what am I doing? This is the one. Please add your name. And if you have any agenda items, um, let me know right now. Does anyone have anything they'd like to add? In other words, I can look at pull, open pull request. Try to work through some of this. Um, it 
it's very quiet. I'm going to presume my audio is working. It worked on the last call. Yeah, we can hear you, Taylor. No worries. Yes, it Great. still does. All right. Well, if no one has anything else, then I'll jump into the pull request. <clears throat> um, I'm going to work top down. All right. So I think this one came out of um, comments in the last call about best practices and the the template we had put together was based on the Kubernetes enhancement proposals or KEPs. And um, this was before we actually had best practice proposed and trying to see what would be most relevant and useful for us. Uh, the test plan, just the wording around that was uh, throwing, throwing off some of the view of what we needed to have in there. And it seemed like test objectives was an agreeable one. Um, let me see if I can give some context like this. There we go. So when you're giving a test plan, I mean, uh, talking about is the best practice testable is the main thing. So I think some of the comments were, we put a plan to how detailed do we need to get when we hand it over? Is it so specific that anybody could implement it. Um, and the agreement was, we're overall saying test objectives and is the best practice testable and letting implementation of that be up to the, whoever is writing the test. But this one looks pretty straightforward. If we could get some plus ones on the call, unless there's objections. Uh to be clear, we remove the wording for test plan and instead it's testing objectives? Correct. Remove test plan, yes. replace it with test objectives. That's great. I, I think that's very clear. Thanks. I'll, I would plus one it. Should I do it right now? Yes, please. Please plus right. one it. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to bring this one up since it actually has more context. But does anyone else have a question or comment about that? Oh, get okay, broke. Okay, there we go. So in this one uh, right here, test plan. The application which follows the best practice will not have any containers with processes running as root. This best practice will be tested by the test suite. Um, so some of the comments were this doesn't have enough information as a plan for someone to just implement what are the inputs and outputs and other things like that. So rather than saying test plan, we'd say test objective in that example. Testing objective, so higher level. All right, I got one plus one. We get some more on this call. Maybe y'all are doing it and I'm not saying it. I'm gonna call somebody out loud. Mm. I, I will note that I appreciate uh, Jeffrey's uh, idea here of calling it testing considerations, uh, but I think testing objectives is fine. It's under that you can put considerations for those objectives, right? How to reach them. So it's, it's all about the details. Agreed. And I think that's a good idea to put considerations in there when it's um, relevant. If there's something or if someone has experience trying to communicate, that would be great. All right. 
Um, if you want to, oh, thanks, Ronnie. Uh, I'm going to count that as a plus one. You can also click on, for those who haven't done this, you click over on files, click review changes, click approve, do a plus one or LGTM. Thanks. This one's a pretty minor one. Um, I think we haven't like specifically labeled, but for bigger ones, we wanted five, I believe. And if I go look at the merge um, notes on, on how we're gonna do that, we probably consider this one like a smaller update on wording. Um, if there's no objections, I'm gonna go ahead and merge it. All right. All right. Okay, the next one, add format version, CBB. Um, Ian is off. Um, I'll try to speak to this. Let's see. Uh, Bill, are you on the call? Is this just a formatting issue? Linting? Okay. I'll just. Oh, sorry, that. I was um, on mute. Yeah, it was just adding the space afterwards so all the checks would pass. All right, sounds good. Okay, so um, going over here. This is a, a hidden HTML comment. And I won't click rich shift because I think it may yeah disappear. Um, but having the t whenever anyone copies the content over, that the best practice that you have would have like the template version. So if we're updating it, we'll know. Hey, we changed test plan to test objectives. Um, let's make sure and get all those updated. That's really what this is about. Um, so I'm, I think this is probably a minor one. I'm going to say just thumbs up for myself, but if there's no objections, I'm going to merge this one. Oops. I do not know what just happened. All right, slash marriage. All right. Um, so the next one is this best practice that Ian and I um, put in, but there's been a lot of comments, I think. I'm going to go back this way. So no plus ones. We have things to respond to. Okay, so Jeffrey and Ian are both not here. But this one was a wording change, just trying to make the summary a little easier to understand. Um, let's see, and Jeffrey says yes, so I'm going to update that one. So the summary would be containers have a list of their own users independent of the host system, one of which is UID zero or the root user. Containers should run processes as a user other than root, which makes it easier to run these images securely. Um, I'm just going to accept that for Ian since he plus one to And going down, uh, Victor, application bug. Okay, so this is around goals. Um, his opinion, application bugs and generic term, which cover application bugs or bugs are a generic term which cover many aspects. Um, 
is that as far as I understand, yeah, as far as I understand, the main idea is to reduce the attack surface of by limiting permission. Um, so this update was, I think, removing the behavior of applications when bugs occurs. And Ian seemed to not agree. Um, and I also, I guess, I disagree with the change um, because the you could have non-security issues, but the if there's if you have root in a container and just something, some bug or anything occurs, then the application could do more problems because it's less restricted without being malicious or causing like a potential security like access to something. Maybe it just doesn't behave properly or you have data corruption or whatever else is a result of that. Um, Victor, you gave a thumbs up, but if anyone, Victor, you, you want to comment on this or? No, 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 that's fine. I mean, it's okay to keep it as it is. All right. So I'm going to resolve it so that we can move forward. And it, unless my only, comment is the, my only comment is the British spelling of behavior. <laughs> um, you like, but it's you like it? I, I, we, we haven't decided on a standard. So I think so far we've been mixing Englishes. I think uh, everybody will be fine with it. All right. When that's decided, we can go through and update it everywhere. All right. Um, all right, so Jeffrey is, I think, talking about the way the goals section. It's I'm going to kind of scroll because you got to see the whole thing here. So the goals section, I think it was more of a formatting. He verbalized this on the call and then added a comment as well. Um, <clears throat> that it wasn't formatted in a way to see it as goals, I think was the main thing. And so I split it out so where they rewarded it. So this bottom line, he commented, that's a goal, avoid compromise up causing more damage. So I took the, the way the Senate structure was, improve the security and behavior of application when bugs occur, added the, the defense in-depth strategy against external compromises. And then we have avoid compromised apps causing more damage. I, th I think I'll have to uh, delete a, maybe this extra space so that they'll just be uh, one after another. But that's the idea there. Um, can, I, and... can I ask a question? Can yeah. I... In Go your ahead, sentence, okay. improve the security and behavior of applications. Why qualify it only when bugs occur? Uh, sorry, can you repeat the last? Why is what? So why qualify that you know that phrase by when bugs occur? That phrase when bugs occur is not necessary. Oh, okay. I think by itself, we want to improve the security and behavior of applications. Yeah, that sounds um, good to me. The second thing is that this is replacing the root user and that issue is still not addressed. You don't, you want minimum or least, you want to follow the privilege, least privilege principle, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that should be captured because it says avoiding the root user in containers and you're you are replacing that with these two command or uh, two principles, but it still not covers the root user. All right. Um, I guess we were, the summary captures- No, not here. Under all the, of under it. the goals, yeah. Yeah, under the goals. Um, understood. So the summary covers that. The motivation refers to the root user. And I, I guess within, if you take the context of all of that and maybe the next sections on the, like the proposal section, then you get, how are we gonna do it? So the whole best practice is about yep. don't use the root user. Yes. So it seemed like it may not be necessary to, to say, 
it's not the best practice is to avoid using the root user but the or goal isn't to yeah. use the root user that's a way to get to the goals yeah and you could also introduce one of the goals is use principle of least privilege uh, okay i got um maybe let me I'm going to adjust this one and then sure. yeah. appro approve, improve the security favor when bugs occur. I, I agree with um, maybe improve the security behavior of applications. Okay, so that's like that's, a. Sorry, go ahead, Tal. Yeah, it, th this does read a little bit strange to me because these goals. They are so general, <laughs> uh, and and if we really do want to apply that principle, I mean, there are all these aspects that have well beyond root. You know, well, if you're using another user, have you given it full permissions to do anything it wants? It might as well be root. Are all your files uh, set with uh, attributes that allow any user to write them? For example, there's um, where. We're, we're really narrowly focused here, and but but the goals, on the other hand, are really, really broad. It sounds kind of strange. Um, I, I, Tal, I agree that we're going to have, maybe we could say duplication or overlap, um, however you want to see it, between best practices and use cases. Uh, I think that's just known. and we may be able to share more as we go on and say, here's some general information like the glossary, but we're not trying to get it perfect between them to get started. So if we have something general and then have another best practice based on least privilege, it may have some of the same goals. And right now I think we just recognize that and that's okay. So if we, have, can... if we have a specific goal though, Tal, that you can think of or anyone else can think of that we can say, oh, if you do no root, here's a very specific goal that's just applicable to that. That's great, we can put it in. Well, I, I kind of think your original wording was closest. It wasn't written as yeah. a goal, but, uh, but that captures it, right? It, it directly addresses root. Uh, I think if we write goals that don't talk about root, uh, I, they just, seem out of place to me. Yeah, but the no root in containers basically helps achieve the goals that are being listed. So improving security and behavior is a very good goal. And it, you know, no root in containers contributes to work well. No root in containers also contributes to defense in depth, if you will, uh, as well as the least, uh, least privilege. So, so what about using improve the security and behavior applications by reducing the, the privilege of the containers or something like that? Yep, that works. How about something like this? Avoiding root in containers can help to improve the security and behavior of applications, add a defense in depth strategy against compromises, avoid compromised apps causing more damage. How, how does it avoid compromised apps? I'm sorry, Pankai? How, how does no root in containers avoid compromised apps? It helps to avoid compromised apps causing more damage. So if you oh, have an application, uh, okay. if you Com have an application, okay, sorry. You, you understand? Yeah, 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 I understand. It's just that the form is missing. Avoid compromised apps from causing more damage. Okay, that's what it says. Okay. Oh, all right. Let me go ahead and, oops, cancel. Yes. Um, I think like that. Plus, I'm going to delete the extra line, add a dash, avoid compromised apps from, oops, from causing more damage. Yep. That's what you're trying to say, right? Yes. So, so just to underscore the point I was making, I think this is the goal. This is the closest thing to what Root provides. Um, mm -hmm. 
the, the other ones are just so general. This, this is what Root does, right? Root helps avoid compromised apps from causing more damage. Right. Um, that in turn improves the security and behavior of applications, right? Did you think that we have to specify where the damage is, like in the, the host or like just in general? Well, it shouldn't be the host. Otherwise, there's something very wrong with your container technology. <laughs> uh, or you're running in a privileged container, which is uh, another problem that we're, we're not talking about here. Uh, but, but we're assuming here that the container works <laughs> and uh, really containerizes. Uh, but you know the kind of things that root can do very much depend on what's running in the container, so files, uh, networking, anything. Uh, root can do anything it wants, right? Normally. App uses root to change IP tables and uh, send information to the wrong place. Something silly like that. <clears throat> or of course, yeah, well, change files. So. All right, so here's how it looks right now. Um, goals, avoiding root and containers can help to, and this is high level then tell, improve the security and behavior of applications. So this will be, we could say a high level goal. Add to the defense in depth strategy against external compromises. Again, high level tied in with all the other work we can do. And then a specific avoid compromised apps from causing more damage. Sounds good. All right. If you have more suggestions, please add it as a suggest commit. Um, let's see. So the next is under the proposal comments. Looks like, um, well, I'll just read it for those who haven't seen it. When building a container, the container should be built to run its processes as a non-root user. Set SID processes should not be required to do the work inside a container. Again, this is the best practice. The root user is a container. The root user in a container has fewer rights and is distinct from the platform's root. The containerization process includes a user using a C group user C group, which means the containers users are distinct from the platform's users and do not include the most dangerous elevated rights. So Victor, you talked about um, this is the case for the mapping from the container from the platform if it's actually enabled. And um, Ian was saying maybe we should talk about best practices that may be a um, a platform type of best practice that you should do that and always enforce it. And I made a, a change here, uh, Victor, and it looks like you did something. An exception to that would be separation of container runtime is not using username spaces, but it looks like um, you've made another change. Can yeah, well, we uh, I, I was just trying to clarify the first thing, which is uh, talking about rights and Linux kernel capabilities. The first thing that you mentioned at the beginning, more like, yeah. um, so I guess it's more accurate, I think. All right. So it sounds like you're doing just an alternative suggestion. So uh -huh. I, I tried to add it as an exception and you just, it looks like you're writing it a little different but less words, which container cross includes C group. So you dropped all the C group stuff. Yeah, because C groups for my understanding is yeah, like uh, controlling, like restricting the, the amount of CPU or memory, which is not changing the, the users or remapping. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and then Ian, it's confusing, you're correct, and what's fixing, it's user namespace, not C group, so we use the wrong word, but namespaces, some C groups do very similar things. Okay, so I don't think he, oops, I scrolled way too far. Um, I don't think that Ian is disagreeing, 
Um, he didn't explicitly give a thumbs up, but he's saying the words wrong. So I'm going to say that sounds like agreement. And I'm good with committing this. Um, and Ian and I like submitted this best practice together. I'm, I'm good with just taking this one. Based on so what just, you said. just grammar, it should be fewer instead of less. has okay i'm gonna go ahead and and unless Vic, victor do you want to modify it right here and and right here and put fewer the root user I can do it in a container has fewer okay and then i'll commit that and resolve this issue to be clear should we just say a containers root user has fewer linux kernel capabilities Um, can you say that again? Let me, let me, type, let me type it in the chat. Let me type it in the chat. It sounds like you're wanting to reword the start to make it yes. clear. And you could add it right in here to the, um, as a comment too, Punkai. Okay, let me add it as a comment. Uh, Victor, did you update with the fewer? Yeah, I think so. I'm not seeing it. I'm going to refresh again. Yep, there it is. Oops, didn't know it'd be. Containers for user has fewer. Oh, sorry, less should I? No problem. If has fewer, I'll just read it like that. If a containers root user has fewer Linux, Linux kernel, kernel permissions. permissions and may be distinct from platform's root. If the container runtime enables Use username uh, spaces. Yeah, that's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, it just makes it one is consistent and then it's basically is like platforms root, containers root. I would probably not even put this in parentheses, Victor. We could say maybe when a containers root user has fewer Linux kernel permissions and may be distinct from the platform's root when the container runtime enables username space is remap feature. Um, Pankai, uh, can you make a suggest edit? Yeah, sure, this? I can do that. All right, all right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go on. I resolved it, but I'll, um, that's is, this. Is everybody okay with that or? Well, you can put it down and then we can okay. check it out. Yeah, that's fine. We're trying to get down to the point where we can actually get plus ones. Uh, right now we have, please, updates. Let's see if, yeah, only please updates. All right, so let's go on. We'll come back to yours in a moment, Pankai. Um, so under trade-offs, constraints, caveats, and any notes, that's a big section header. Um, okay, so just some comments about other best practices. Okay, and just where that could go. And that's it. So there's not really anything to add there. That one could be resolved. I'm gonna leave it open, but it I don't think it blocks. 
And Victor, you have a CVE that you think is relevant? Well, yeah. Run to container breakout, all versions. All right. Vulnerability, malicious container with minimal user action of RETS host runs to binary, gains root level of code, some of the things. Um, yeah, that sounds good. Just uh, add it in. Uh, so this section is, um, it's under the notes um, area, just so that people can look at more info and we have references so that if someone's wondering why we're suggesting this as a best practice, um, what benefits and everything else, so this is references. So you can go read what folks in the industry are doing. So yes, uh, to add that, if you'll do a suggest edit, Victor. But where in the references? Yeah, just add it to the, I, I would say yes to the references. Yes okay. to adding the references. All right. Alternatives. Um, so we just put, so a couple of things in here. I don't. I don't know that these are alternatives. Um, what other things you might do? Uh, you're allowing root. What you could do. Um, talked about rootless, Victor. You put this forward. We talked about this a bit and kept on that a new cap to address some rootless stuff. And I think the comments were were saying that this may be a little different from this best practice. But there's no, hasn't been any updates. I guess we could mention it if you think alternatives when mentioning the rootless and user nets, then you could do a suggest edit as well, Victor, if, if you, you think there's something that's helpful, then I would just add it as a suggest edit. I'm, I'm a little confused about this alternative section. Um, are we talking about alternatives to applying the best practice or caveats or ways to mitigate? There, there's, a, there's a huge discussion that could, can be had here. Yeah, the, um, this would be alternatives to using the best practice. So we have the caveats and you're in, here's problems you're gonna see or notes where you go, um, you know, whatever other comments when you're using the best practice. And this is alternative paths. And it may not be necessary on every best practice, but, and we're okay, not gonna but, list all of them either, by the way. So the assumption here is that somebody is not able to apply the best practices. So, okay, if you, if you absolutely have to use root, here's what, here's what you can do that could be close to that. Is that what we're saying? So it's like compromises rather than alternatives because they're not alternatives to, there is no alternative to not using root. You either use it or do not. Maybe maybe alternative slash compromises for this section would be good. So if, if we, there probably are best practices where you Sorry. could have the same outcome with two different best practices. And maybe this one doesn't. We're just saying you're either gonna use root or you're not. And if you don't and you compromise, then here's some other paths to deal with it. I, I guess what I'm looking for is something like uh, considerations, right? Okay, why, <laughs> why do you absolutely need to use root? And if you do, what can you do about it? Something, something like that. that. That to me is where it could become useful. Um, do not run the container in privilege mode. I guess that's what it means. Um, well, I, I, is that an alternative? <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's a different approach to, and it achieves something else. So again, going back to the goals, you know, if these are our alternative ways to achieve the goals, our goals, some of them are extremely general, right? So if, if you're looking for an alternative way to make your application more secure, <laughs> there are lots of other things we, we can suggest. Um, sure, I, so if we don't have anything specific, like 
then we just leave it. We don't want to block this, but if, if there's something like Victor saying, um, using uh, so alternatives slash compromises, whatever we're going to say on this, then maybe one of them would be if you must use root, um, you could take a look at using Kata containers, which give more isolation and then a link over. And we don't talk about it in depth. That should go somewhere else, which may be literally like the project or we may eventually have using best practices for using Kata containers. And we go, go take a look at this best practice or something, you know, but that would be, if you have a concrete one towel, then add it in. If you can't think of something right now, we can always come back later and do a PR against the public yeah. best practice. I, I guess I think that I what Ian really is writing here is very beneficial. I, I, I kind of think that Everything else we had in the document so far is, to me, reads as kind of trivial. I know we're, we're picking on low-hanging fruit here because we want to get something out, but it, it's, it's fairly obvious, most of it. I, I think where we can make a contribution is exactly in this, well, if you can't run root, here, here's an in-depth discussion of, of how uh, workarounds, you know, rather than alternatives, maybe another way to think of it is workarounds, right? You absolutely must run root. Here are a bunch of suggestions we have for, for how you can uh, work in that situation. Yeah, then suddenly I, the document becomes useful. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree 100%. I think that's the gist of, of this work group to find these, uh, to come up with this recommendation. I mean, saying you don't have to run root, you don't need this work group to say that. But we as a work group, I think we, our responsibility should be analyzing why do network functions need root? Like, for example, if you need to create a raw socket for your crazy protocol, okay, how do you do that? Just saying don't run root, okay, so I don't, can't use my protocol. So we need to discuss here ways that maybe Kata containers is one thing, maybe others, but I agree with Tal 100%. This is what we're here for, to, to help people uh, with, with solutions, not just saying, giving them the don'ts, but giving them the do's as well. All right, so the, the I agree with y'all. And the idea then is let's get the trivial ones in place so that we have a baseline. And then we go, okay, so what is this use case? Someone put forward a use case where we have a application where we say, we really think we need root here. So that's going to be against this best practice. So what are the best practices for having a container with root? And we can analyze that. So I think Tal's suggestion to call this workarounds, I think should be adopted. Instead of alternatives, workaround is a much better word. It's not even workaround. That's exactly like, that's the whole thing that, that we're trying to define here. It's not a workaround, it's like the solution. So the problem is you cannot run root and here's the solutions solutions that we are proposing for you. So I wouldn't call them even workaround. I, I would call them like recommendations or um, solutions or whatever. It's a well, workaround yeah. to getting around some of the problems of running root, right? So the, or, you know, so just then, run root. Sometimes running root is the alternative. It is not the end of the world to run root. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. just have to understand what the, what the trade-offs are. Yeah, but you so the, be the, the best or, practice. Or so what we're talking about here is the best practice, not the exceptions. So in the best practice, you should do no root. And now we say, but what if we have another use case where we say we must have some type of privileges. And maybe that means that you say, well, you should, you're going to need root and you, we suggest you run it in Kata containers, or you're going to need root, and we suggest that you split it off and run it somewhere. I don't know, whatever that is, that's fine. It wouldn't be in this best practice. So we're not giving the solutions in this particular one for running root. That will be an additional document, which we can link in here. So if we write those up and we do the work on it, we can put whatever we want to call this section alternatives or uh, best practice, we can have another section, best practices for when you need root, and we will link out to that, which will be a different document. 
That, that makes sense to me. So, so I guess I'm just going back to what I said that calling this section alternatives is, uh, uh, I, I don't understand it <laughs> still. I wonder if we still need it even. And if we do add things in the future, we could add, add those sections, but I'm suggesting we just remove this section. And Taylor, regarding this section, is just related with Kubernetes or just uh, CNS in general? Or, or I mean, for example, uh, user remap is not supported by Kubernetes by now, but it is supported by Docker. So mm -hmm. maybe using uh, user namespace remap can also mitigate that that problem like but definitely it's not going to be is it's still not supporting in Kubernetes yet. So um all right like the user nets is it's coming related practices exactly. um it's um I'm trying to find a word tell that fits what we're talking about here. This section is to point people to in other places. You've you're saying um, we're going through this, and so, some people may agree, not agree with Narut or whatever. Hopefully, we convince them for the case they can. But for your case, Tal and Rani, you get to a point where you go, we understand this is a best practice, but we have to do it. So what do we do? Um, so this, I think this section is supposed to kind of point people somewhere else. And right now it would be very limited because we don't have anything else other than we can kind of point some stuff out. Um, but would related practices, um, alternatives, related practices, is there some wording that could fit for pointing people that using Kata containers or does everyone agree with just deleting this whole section? Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Tom. I, I just wanted to say, Taylor, you said, you know, in the future we can have more PRs. Uh, let's just not waste time on it right now. Remove it. If in the future we want to add something, maybe the name would uh, be more apparent once we actually have content. I want to see what Victor you come up with, and if I don't, if we're right now we don't have any plus ones, but I, I were we still need the use case. <laughs> um, so maybe next week, if we don't have anything useful in here, Victor, if you add anything, then we can take a look. And I'll think about it, Tal, for just deleting or not on the wording. But add a comment here, if you can, Tal, on your thoughts, like about the section and, and stuff, so we'll be able to come back to that. Yes, yeah, sorry but for I'll just being for critical now. without having a, an alternative solution. Um, I think putting myself in the right, thanks. Of just the target audience, like whoever reads mm -hmm. that. I mean, if we just say you cannot use root, that's it. Okay, I, how much value did we bring to the end user, to the to the audience? I mean, if we say, uh, okay, you cannot use root, but here's some further reading or some uh, suggestion to where you, where you might start. I think that's more powerful than just saying you cannot use root. Period. Go figure it out. Alternatives, um, there's like something you're saying or anywhere it's, this is like, um, it's suggestions.
Yeah, I would you know it is like further reading or where to go next. It's don't leave the audience hang the audience hanging. Like. So we're not trying to solve all the cases. I, I get what you're saying, Rani. The so complex we end up getting at a point where we don't make any progress. Um, so the end goal would be all of these when you're reading a best practice and it doesn't apply to you, it would be great to have links to alternatives. Probably what that's going to happen is iterative for this. Um, suggestions for you want something like this for when you must use root something like that yeah but we I, don't we're not ready there yet but that's what we want i'm gonna delete that for now um If y'all have any like related alternatives, that's what this section will be about. Drop it in here. I'm gonna move on. Um, okay, we said test objectives. This didn't get, oh, that was from the other one. So just updating it here. Um, I added my wait. comment. Um, so this section is, um, let's see, oh, sorry. Do not run the container in privilege mode. Okay, I'm just gonna grab that pun, Kai, that one's pretty straightforward. Oops. Uh, commit this Victor the CVE. Making the resolve use that yeah. and okay, I'm going to leave that up until till we read more. But it, um, it looks like all of them. I think all of them have been resolved at this point, um, except for that one section. A containers root user has fewer privileges and may be distinct from platforms root if the container runtime. I'm good with this. I think it, it's just rewording. All right. So this is still showing as a draft um, because we haven't added the user story, which we've been working on, but it's not uh, linked in or added in. I think that would be holding it from moving forward. But if, if folks can take a look and see if there's anything else. Um, outdated, outdated. This one. All right. We have five minutes left. And book is out, I think, until next week. Has there been any progress on the glossary tell? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> kind of left it where it was. Uh, the, the problem is, I think there are just discussions there that haven't been resolved. Uh, we can revisit and talk again. Um, I've resolved a few that seem to me seem to me to be resolved, but for some of them, I'm not sure everybody is completely on board. So um, yeah, 
we don't have to have agreement if we can have a um, if we feel like everybody's been heard and we're at a point to accept it even if we disagree are we at a point to accept it as is where we can update it so this physical network function pnf definition there's been a lot of talk about it but no suggest edits and i don't think any right yeah that's why i'm stuck. that's why i'm stuck a little bit i feel like a lot of these conversations are just uh conversations <laughs> um which is fine yeah so is yeah. is this one one where and do we have, are there any objections to resolving it for now as is to keep? Um, and then we can go update the glossary later if there's changes. If there's no objection, I'm gonna resolve it. Also regarding the glossary, uh, we have another discussion uh, for some networking terms for the glossary. Uh, this hasn't moved for, uh, for a while. Uh, there's no objections on the terms currently. So if you people can just review it a bit and maybe we can create an extra PR for that if everybody uh, is on board with those terms. I have pasted the link to the to the agenda. So, yeah. Right, that, that actually seems sensible to me to have the discussion in discussions <laughs> and then maybe create a PR from that. Um, but I, I don't know, I mean, it, we can still, I, I'm not trying to push my uh, PR through, but we can accept my PR and just treat it as a draft, you know, and continue continue iterating. Um, yeah, I agree, I agree with that. I'm, not, I'm gonna uh, resolve I'm not pushing this to, one, yeah. the PNF and um, let's go ahead. Yes, for talking on the discussion board. That's what those are for. We can keep, if there's someone's unhappy with something that's being merged, please continue on the discussion board or create a new PR. And Demetrius, if, if you have something specific that you want to add, uh, ideally glossary terms, we want to add the minimal amount necessary at any given PR so that we can get it through um, sooner. But if you have one, then please put that in. I've gone ahead and resolved the physical network function. I'm gonna work through some of these. So let's see what's next. The cloudified. Um, that, that was the most controversial, but the, the, the one problem with removing this cloudified network function term, um, it, it, I, and the and the KNF term, I refer to this. I, I use it as a classification. And here I explain kind of why that is needed. I didn't have a real response to my response. So I um anyway, I feel I feel like it's still just unresolved. Um And we, we are at the top of the hour. I can suggest maybe we can put this at the top of the agenda for next time and, and really just try to finally, finally close this. Sounds good. Let's do that. And um, please, Tal, check out the, try to, I guess, add any comments on ones that you feel or if you're good to go forward with any given one, then give it a plus one and as the work in progress. And if anyone else has comments and please add them and we'll continue with that one. Continue with glossary PR. Right. I'll Next I'll just week. say that I think that the, the biggest block right now is in fact you Taylor. You you had the biggest objection to the clarification clarified network function term and uh, maybe we can just discuss privately and see if 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 there's uh, some compromise we can find. Sure, and I can add more comments myself to it. Oops. Yeah, that's that's my worry that the comments just start getting very, very long, long speeches about uh, terms. So uh, we're, I, I feel like we're in a bit of an impasse there. So, um, but yeah, we can we can discuss this next time. Sorry, don't want to take more time. People have to go. Thanks, everyone. See y'all next week, same time. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>